Okay. Good afternoon to everybody. My focus is uh, GIS for uh, dyslexic. My name is Massimiliano Bernabé, and I will present you the experience of OpenStreetMap for the dyslexic. Okay, there are uh, the eight percent of people in the world is dyslexic. They have problems uh, acquiring reading and estimating space in pages, in interfaces, and in maps. Okay, our group works uh, every day with dyslexic. We have. Uh, applied and evolved the multisensorial approach which uh, which uh, we know is uh, working well for the alphanumeric world in the general case uh, we applied to the maps okay we actually have realized the first map a dyslexic can easily read and we built a, a mobile application on the top of it our map talks to the user, the content, and um, moreover has uh, sp specific functionalities that help the user to get uh, the content. One functionality is location history, which keeps track of the path that the user uh, follow to reach the current location. We have a customized version of the map overlay overview and many others. Our map shows less data than the others. If you compare our maps with OpenStreetMap, you recognize that 10% uh, of the information is given by us, and the rest is lost, okay? And uh, to balance this uh, lack of information, uh, we, uh, we made the identification process very, very fast, because we want the user to identify objects, okay? I have a little demo uh, of this uh, the, of the process of identification. Okay, this okay, this is an uh, identification made cross layer in real time, uh, directly client side. Okay, uh, this is not the the page that the user views, but is a touch demo. Okay, so. If for this point, uh, under the mouse over, you see in real time what is uh, uh, under the mouse. Okay? And everything is done client side. Okay, so back to my presentation, which is more, more or less finished. Okay. Okay, this is our story. We have two years of uh, user uh, experience collected. And with this feedback, we are now uh, building the second version of the base map and a new version for the mobile application. Okay. Thank you. So if uh, we have some questions for this speaker while we switch to the next. Were there any questions at all? Uh, can uh, can I'm not that familiar with um, adaptation of text for. No yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I'm not very familiar with uh, specific changes required for the dyslexic uh, community uh, in terms of improving the content. Uh, is styling enough to uh, make the change uh, to to solve most of the issues, or uh, fundamental data changes are required for? Uh, for the community okay, okay. Uh, we, we made the changes uh, uh, in labeling, which is very, very important. And we surround every label uh, with, with enough uh, white space to, to, to get uh, visibility, uh, to increase visibility. We select fonts, and we write every label stripe. No, no via, via Roma written. Uh, uh, down to up, okay? Everything is Plus, we added specific function, plus we added specific functionality which, which helped the user to recognize the content of the map. So both are required for our point of view. Styling and functionalities. Okay? Okay. No, no questions? Thank you. And 